Beep. What is up, ninjas? My name is Sam World with Evolution of Sound. I had the pleasure of interviewing a spinning record sign artist, Million, on his track Full with Mr. Belt and Weasel. Now, Million breaks down his track, and at the end of the episode, I asked him the question, what is one thing that you learned from this track that can benefit all producers? And he started telling me a story where he put Alter Boy on a vocal, bounced down the vocal, and then finally, once the track was signed to spinning and they accepted it, he heard it through a JBL speaker while he was partying, and he heard the vocal kind of cutting in and now it's like, I know, you know, it didn't have a constant volume how it should, so the vocal was phasing out. So he was panicking, so him and Mr. Belt and Weasel had to go back into the studio and fix this. And the problem was that he had to go all the way to the beginning of the project. Now, if you're going to be using Alter Boy, then this video is for you as this will solve the problem so that you don't have to waste precious hours of your life. If you guys want to support the channel, make sure to head over to evilsounds.com. You can find all my sound design work used by some of the best producers out there like Hardwell, Umix, Space 92, James Hype, Weston, Kush, Lost Frequencies. The list goes on. Make sure to check him out. Now, here I have a collab with Matillo, and I'm going to show you guys an example of what happens when you utilize Alter Boy. Now, if I play this in mono, the vocal should sound like this. I'm scared to love you, I'm so scared to be free, cause I know you're nightmare. Constantly in the front always there sounding delicious. A lot of us will use Alter Boy as it's gonna allow us to get unique sounding vocals. I'm scared to love you, I'm so scared to be free, cause I know you're nightmare. Sis. But notice when I use the form and shift, it also makes the vocal sound white now, a little bit wider. So if you're in headphones, instead of sounding here down the middle, it's sounding more like back here. But the issue will now arise that when I play this in Wano, you can see the difference. Now, how do you fix this? Well, the biggest fix is when you use Alter Boy and it widens like that, a lot of the times the left and the right will sound a little different or they will be shifted in time. That's how you get the width. So if you utilize the utility from Ableton and collapse it to the left channel or the right channel only, you know, we don't go mighty morphin power rangers and collapse left and right together to form a dinosaur. You know, I want the pink ranger, I want the red ranger, left or right. I'm scared to love Now, if you like the wide effect on the vocals, maybe consider using this as a layer and leaving the main vocal down the center on altered. So you can run this at 50%. So that way you have a bit of width from the Alter Boy and a layer, but it's not the complete vocal getting just smashed by it. If you guys found this video useful, consider hitting the like button and subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when my videos are out. My goal on YouTube is to be as most valuable as I can to you producers to save you time and to help you making the best music that you can make. And if you want to support the channel, evilsounds.com. But as always, guys, you guys have a great rest of your day and happy producing. Eddie, what is your sign? The stars align into the night. Walking in space, that must be our vibe.